Jennifer Lawrence gets vulnerable and opens up about her very private life in the latest issue of Vogue. This episode of Clever Newsfeed was brought to you by Twix. It's time to decide. Which side are you, left Twix or right Twix? Get ready to know J-Law like you've never known her before. When it comes to Jennifer Lawrence, many see her as an open book because, well, she's just so darn open about almost everything in her life. But, be that as it may, there's definitely a lot of things that we don't know about her. Sure, she's one of the most relatable celebs out there, and as nice as she is, there are just some things she won't do out in public, like take selfies with fans. In her Vogue spread, J-Law revealed that she will almost always meet with fans, but she won't always say yes to a selfie. She said, I'm happy to meet people, give autographs, shake hands, and say thank you. I wouldn't have a job if people weren't going to see my movies. It's just... If I'm on an airplane and I have no makeup on, I don't want to take a selfie that's going to end up on E. Fair enough. Hey, we all have our own selfie preferences, and some of us just don't like to take makeup-free selfies. Although Jennifer likes to keep a lot of her private life private, the actress actually opened up about her boyfriend Darren Aronofsky to the magazine, and why she was attracted to him before they started dating. J-Law said, We had energy. I had energy for him. I don't know how he felt about me. I normally don't like Harvard people, because they can't go two minutes without mentioning that they went to Harvard. He's not like that. For the past year, I've been dealing with him as a human. I've been in relationships before where I'm just confused, and I'm never confused with him. Aside from opening up about her personal life, J-Law also took a moment to praise Ariana Grande for her impeccable impression of Jen on Saturday Night Live last year. They told me not to do a game show, but I was like, screw it, I can have fun, I'm a regular person. I believe Jen described Ariana's impersonation as spot on. I honestly couldn't have said it better myself. Jennifer also opened up about that untitled J-Law Amy Schumer project that the internet is still waiting for. Good news is, Jen revealed that the two are currently meeting with directors for the film, and she revealed a bit of the storyline, saying that it's about dysfunctional twins, but it's sad, then funny. Amy's the funniest person I've ever met. She's also an amazing dramatic actress, which I want to bring out. Well, fingers crossed that we get a director and then a release date pronto. Well, what do you guys think of J-Law's spread? Were you surprised that she talked about her boyfriend? I know I was. Anyway, you know what to do. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your host, Zoe Lillian, and I'll see you next time. Click to the left for breakup advice from Katy Perry and to the right for all the details on Taylor Swift's trial opening. Thanks again to Twix for sponsoring this episode. It's time to decide. Which side are you? Left Twix or right Twix?